So you want to fly your Air 2 in FPV mode, you say. Option 1 and option 2. Which way do I go? Options in your life. Do you go with the standard controller and the poor man's goggles? Or do you go with the smart controller? Ooh. Which option is best for you? Let's get into it. Your smart controller has a HDMI output. Very simple. You just plug it in right there. Done. The other end that comes with your goggles, it's like a micro HDMI. You lift this flap up. It's the first one right here. You plug it in. Shebang. That's it. You're on your way to flying FPV. Now this is wild, this is wild. Whoa. This setup can be kind of elaborate. I mean, I'm talking Three, 300 and change if, if if you're gonna pick up one of these brand new 500 and change if you're going for the racing edition yeah you could probably get it you know cheaper buying it used if you want to put somebody's used goggles on it's up to you but it still costs you know a pretty penny let's not even get into this guy look this is this is mwah, love it but huh I don't love the price Almost 800 shebangs is what you're gonna pay for this bad boy right here. So, I mean, you look at 800, 350 to 550, I don't know, you're over a thousand bucks there just in accessories alone. This one, three to five hundred dollars just to fly FPV. Maybe you don't fly FPV that often, but you still wanna experience it. Okay, well, there's a poor man's option. Let's get into it. Pop your controller top off. Take the whole cable out, the entire cable. See, no cable. Next, you're gonna stick your USB, your new USB cable in there. Shebang, there you go, it's plugged in. That's it, leave your antenna up like this. You don't need your phone here. You're done with the controller, that's it. The other end of the cable now goes into your smartphone. Now, if you have an iPhone, you're going to need a USB-C to a lightning cable, but I'm using Android, so I can go USB-C to USB-C. Open up your phone and go to the App Store, okay, on your phone, whether it be your Apple Store or your Android Store, and type in, type in, <laughs> and type in Lychee. Lychee, that's the app that you need to download. It's like 25 bucks, guys. It don't get cheaper than that. And the beauty is, it doesn't only work with this drone, and we're gonna talk about this compatibility in a second. It works with all the older DJI drones that come before this. So if you have a Mavic 2 Pro, it works with this. If you have a Mavic Mini that came before this, it works with this as well. If you have an Inspire 1, Inspire 1 Pro, Inspire 2, Phantom 4 Pro, you name it. The whole lineup is here at your fingertips for 24, 25 bucks. And there's more to just, just flying FPV, but that's not what this video is about. We'll talk about that in another video, so make sure you sub up, hit subscribe, and hit the thumbs up if you want this content to keep flowing, guys. Good, I'm going to hit open. Why? Because I've downloaded it already. Now, downloading and paying for the app is not the only thing you have to do. You have to become a beta tester. I'll leave a link in the description section. All you do is click on the link and become a beta tester. What does a beta tester mean? It means I submit my drone to be a test subject. Now, it's not that big of a deal like this is a new software. It's been around since all DJI drones, so they know what they're doing. So it's not like your drone's just gonna take off. But then again, if it does, there's just no guarantee that they'll cover it, right? Very soon, 
this drone will be out of beta and all the features won't be beta anymore they will be official but until then jump into the link in the description section in the comment section too and become a beta tester you get that fpv in your life we're gonna hit open power on the controller power on the drone now look on my screen see it gives me options which app do i want to use i have multiple apps that i can use to fly this drone right but for today we're gonna select lychee good there you go it pops up now let's set the drone down for a little bit sit drone open up your cheap goggles that you can get from amazon one of those smartphone goggles where you just throw your smartphone in there just Go on Amazon and, and search, it, search in the search bar phone goggles or FPV smartphone goggles and pick whichever one you like that holds your smartphone. Make sure it can fit your smartphone, whatever smartphone you got, and you're good to go. $20 smartphone kit. I'm going to disconnect the phone for a second. Why? Because I need to get it in to the case right and then pass the cable through the case here pass the cable through the case and then plug it into the phone so that's why i had to plug it out plug it back into the phone and then it's going to come on back again it's going to ask me which app do i want right i will select lychee again just once there we go we're back in business now you see to the top right there's a little goggles thing there hit that icon Boom, you're in FPV. There we go. We're sealed up, we're closed up, we're ready to go. Now, the beauty with this is when I stick it in the goggles, right? Look what happens when I look down. The gimbal looks down. When I look up, the gimbal looks up. So that's pretty cool. Ain't that cool? Come on, you can't tell me that's not cool. That's wild that's wild right there so uh, you're in for a ride guys pop it in the goggles just like that they all work the same basic way and we're ready for takeoff let's go goggles down hoo, hoo, hoo. and enjoy the ride Okay, maybe that's not enough for you. You got the FPV experience, but you want more feeling like an FPV drone. No problem. Go to top right where that little settings icon is. Click on that. Go over to aircraft. Scroll all the way down. Look for gimbal mode. See where it says gimbal mode? Change that from y'all follow to fpv good you go into this little settings icon at the bottom here and you go to not aircraft head tracking you go to gimbal head tracking right and turn that off right turn it off that will give you the fullest best fpv kind of like experience you can get out of this thing so we turned it off we're folding up our goggles so it doesn't look down and up anymore see that doesn't look down or up when you put it on head tracking on it'll do the up and on and off the on and off but we don't want that here and i'll show you why you turn it off put it back in we're back in business Look what happens when I push both sticks to the left. Oh, you want that FPV in your life? Make sure you can handle it. Oh, both sticks right. You want that FPV kind of lifestyle? Oh, there you go. You're going right. You're going left. You want to get crazy? Put that bad boy into sports mode. Now you're living the FPV life. Oh,
or reversing back to, you name it, we can do it. The world is yours. Options in your life. So which option you going with? You're gonna be a baller? And you know, don't pretend to be a baller. You take this kind of equipment home and next thing you know. Oh, no! Hey, that's my stuff! It's all dry. Unbelievable! Or you can keep it simple and take the poor man's route. All depends on what suits you, but you got options in your life. Here's an option for you. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Come on, 35% of you watching this video haven't even hit thumbs up yet. Come on, hit thumbs up. Guys, whichever way you choose, let me know which one works best for you, or maybe none of them work for you. But let me know in the comments section below, guys, and let me know what videos you want me to make. With that being said, I will catch you guys in the next one. Make sure you become a Patreon, guys. Big benefits to Patreon. Get direct access to me. Any questions, I'm right here on Patreon. Support this channel, and there's benefits. Last Mini 2 went all the way to the UK.